Good afternoon, wild campers. Welcome back to beautiful Dartmoor. It's a beautiful day. I am right down in the south of Dartmoor today, on the very south southern edge. And today is the day of the protest organised by Right to Rome and the stars are for everybody. All well, the stars are for everyone even, sorry. And it's it's still obviously all to do with the um, the right to roam on Dartmoor, the um, the case to do with um, the Darwells. We are allowed to, to wild camp on Dartmoor again, but it's all up in the air at the minute. Um, the camping map has come back. It's about twenty around 20% smaller than it was before apparently. So a lot of camping areas have been removed. Some of my spots that I've been to before have been removed, which is a shame. The Dartmoor National Park having to pay already rich landowners for the right for us to be able to wild camp on their land. It's, it's disgusting. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of people still aren't happy. A lot of people are happy that we can camp and they don't really see what the problem is, but um, it is still a problem and there are a lot of people not, not happy with it. And also the, the landowners now have the ability to remove the right to camp on their land, whereas before, um, it, well, it, it wasn't, but it was it wasn't set in stone, but it was, it was we had the we had the right to, to camp on their land, but now they can they can just revoke that. Um, I think it might be a yearly basis. I'm not, I'm not too sure about that, but yeah, they the landowners can now revoke the the right for us to camp on their land, which which isn't right. So we might be able to camp on their land this year, but next year they might turn around for whatever reason and say no, you, you're not allowed on our land anymore. And Dartmoor National Park is already really underfunded. They're having to close the visitor centre in Princetown this year. So where are they going to get this money from that they have to pay all these rich landowners? And how long is that going to last for? And who in the long run is really paying for this? Will it be the taxpayers? So in the long run, we're not wild camping anymore. We're paying to camp on a campsite. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have a peaceful protest, a march on the Darwin's land, and at some point during the day, we're going to try and raise the spirits of old Crocken, an old legend that is the protector of Dartmoor. So hopefully we can do that and we can save Dartmoor with the help of old Crocken. So I've just parked my car up at Lee Moor by the China Clay Works. Um, you can see in the background there, China Clay Works. And also here behind me, which uh, the safety warnings are very pointing out very clearly here. Danger, quarries are not play areas, stay away. Look at that there in the, in the background. Yeah, I've never been to this part of Dartmoor before, so it's a nice new adventure for me. I love coming somewhere that I've never been before. So yeah, ho hopefully tonight, if the plan, if my plan works out, I want to camp. I think it must be the, the tallest, the tallest uh, point over there. I think that might be Shell Top or Shell Tor. It's the, the highest point around and I can still camp there. It is, half of it is still in the, the camping zone, whereas before all of it was in the camping zone. But yeah, only half of it is, so hopefully I can find somewhere nice. And hopefully I'll be able to look out over all of this later. And we'll have some lovely views and a lovely sunset maybe. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to get some miles under my belt because where I've parked, it's a four mile hike now to 
to Cornwood where the protest is because we've been advised by Right to Roam etc that not to park in Cornwood because it's only a tiny little village and hundreds of cars descending on a little village isn't going to look well for us and that's understandable so there's parking rides and um, guided walks from Ivy Bridge but I've decided to do my own thing um, park over here by Lee Moore four and a half mile walk into Cornwood <coughs> and hopefully I might be able to spot a nice camping spot along the way that is the plan so I will catch you a bit later Starting to descend down off the walls now, which is good. I've got 1.5 miles to go, so I'm starting to come down off the walls, which is good because it was bloody bitter up there. God. Yeah, just tell as I'm dropping down, the air temperature's warming up, and also it means down off the walls and I'm getting closer to my destination which is good because I'm running late I'm running fashionably late as usual <laughs> I don't I don't think I'm gonna be quite on time hopefully I won't be too late though yeah it's a shame I didn't leave a little bit earlier get here a little bit earlier and then I could have just took it in my leisure Everything's stomping. Trying to, trying to do it like a race. <laughs> stomping across the moor as fast as I can to get somewhere at a certain time. Oh, I wonder if, I wonder if that little town there, that could possibly be Cornwood. I don't know. I've got me watch to follow got time to get the map out and have a look. So I'll just keep following me watch for a minute. I would say it is. I'd say that's that's where I'm headed. Gorgeous views though, I will stop to just give you a quick pan. Gorgeous views as usual. It always is isn't it? Always is when you're up on dark it's absolutely stunning.
made it. <laughs> I guess I'm there.
turn out. I wouldn't like to have a guess how many people there is, but there's a lot, a lot of people. I'm gonna have to leave those guys to it. I've got to try and find somewhere to pitch my tent yet. I've just been looking on the map and I've got a, where I want to go. Show, show top, show tour. It's two miles and that's in a straight line. And the sun is already going down. I don't think I'm gonna make it, but. I'm not even in the permitted camping area yet, so I've got to head up here. Um, I'll see how far I get. If I start losing too much light, I'll, I'll find the nearest decent place and, uh, and pitch, pitch my tent, but hopefully I can make it back to the show tour. It's, uh, it's nice and high, it's the highest, highest point around the area, so there, there'll be a nice view from up there. Not that I'll be able to see much of it in the dark. <laughs> right, let's get walking. <coughs> still making a little, still making loads of racket back there. Oh dear! I've never wanted to believe in an urban legend or a myth. As much as I do want to believe in the old Crocken. <laughs> old Crocken, the guardian and protector of Dartmoor. He is said to roam the moor by night, 
riding his skeletal steed along with his pack of whist hounds. The girtled spirit, as grey as granite and eyes as black as peat water pools. It is said, in legend, that a rich farmer from a big city bought up all the land around Crockentall and proceeded to farm it, much to the fury of the local folk. One night, a local man had a vision in which a very angry old Crocken had a message for the rich farmer. If he so much as scratches my back, I'll tear out his pocket. And with that, the farmer was cursed. From that day forward, whatever the farmer laid his hand to would end up in ruin, and before too long, the man was paupered, returning to the big city from which he came. <sighs> This is a bit steep on the map it shows the river Yelm at the bottom of this valley I can hear it already I'm just hoping that I can cross it I want to be able to cross that and then up the other side that is the plan but that sounds like it's running pretty fast oh god Oh, it's just getting steeper and steeper. Oh. oh, I think it's just going to drop straight off in into the river by the looks of it. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. If I can get down to it, I might be able to cross somewhere. Yeah, that should be doable. Yeah, sorry then. Man, I've just got to get down to it, that's the thing. It's almost vertical down there. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm getting down there. Not yet. I think I can forget Shell Top Tour, or whatever it's called, I'm never getting there. Oh well. I'll find somewhere. <laughs> I made it. Without getting my feet wet too. Whew. Whew. Oh, that was hard work. Walking through this. Really rough, really long and bumpy just to get to this track that I'm on now. But what I'm all, what I'm walking on now is still more, which is the land which started all this, owned by the Darwos. At the minute, I'm not in a permitted camping zone, but when I get to the end of this track, up that way, then I am. I am in the permitted camping zone, so I'm not got, I haven't got too much light left, so when I find somewhere decent, I'll just uh, pitch my tent up, as long as I'm in the, camp uh, the, yeah, the, the camping zone. Nobody can argue then, can they? Show top, or oh, show show tour, show top tour, still up over there somewhere. I'm not, I'm not going to make that, which is a shame. Nearly there. Show tall. It's just up there, I can see it now. 
starting to appear out the darkness. This ground is really, really rough. I see. There's nowhere to pitch a tent here. I hope there is somewhere up there. Here we are. Show top or show tour. You might just be able to make it out behind me in the, uh, the silhouette of it there. Just anyway, this is where I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch. Hopefully, if my tent will fit. It looks about the, the flattest bit of ground that I've seen since I've started walking over it. I think. <laughs> yeah, it is absolutely freezing now. I've stopped walking too. All right, let's get this tent up quickly. There we go. The tent's up. I am in. Uh, I've just put most of my layers on. Absolutely freezing now. I've stopped walking. Oh. Uh, just about to set up the old farm arrest. I've got that one again. Uh, yeah, really cold. Ooh, ooh, oh. Cramping up as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was really impressed with that turnout today. There was a lot more pe people than I expected to be there. Yeah, that was a, a really good turnout. Um, my hike wasn't so impressive though. That was that wasn't so good. That was all a bit, a bit ru rushed and hectic. Not, not the best, not the best walk I've ever had. But yeah, you can't always have good ones. Some you do get some bad ones, don't you? So yeah, I can't complain too much. I've got to where I wanted to get to. I'm at the show, show top tall or show tall. I've got my tent up. I'm inside and. Uh, getting set up really get me bed set up rather than sitting on this cold ground I'm not quite sure why I'm doing that yeah so I'm gonna do that a minute okay so I'm gonna try my sausage casserole that I made the other week have you seen that video where I made my sausage casserole put it in my foil pouches I'm gonna try this it's uh, it's about uh, quarter to nine, and it's zero degrees. It's pretty damn chilly. I'll put me my new down jacket on. Um, that's that's actually quite nice now, quite nice and warm. So yeah, I'm gonna get this get this heated up. Give the old sausage casserole I made the other day a go. <clears throat> and I'll let you know what I think of it. Ooh. Chucking it on myself. Ooh. Yeah, it's good. It's hot. It's not as good as my other meals. My chicken curry. That was much better. It's still good though. I'm not complaining. It's just not quite as good. Yeah, it's good though. Very nice. Got the outside here as well. Cheers, guys. Push. Ooh. 
that's a good thing about the winter. Your cider is nice and cold. Unlike the summer when you're drinking warm cider. Mm. Nasty. Mm. Better not have got that on my new jacket. Oh my. That was lucky. Ooh. Good morning. So this is where I pitched last night. Right there. There's show top. This is what it looks like in the daylight. Cracking view. Did not realise that the the China wax there was so vast. Can see what kind of scale it was from when I was down there yesterday, but from up here it's absolutely massive. All the way, all the way over there, all the way around. Huge. I'm pretty sure behind me here somewhere, you can't quite see what I'm pointing to, that there is North Hessery Tower and Great Mist Tor. I spot my favourite tour from a mile away. <laughs> a lot more than a mile away. <laughs> yeah, what, a, what an awesome view from up on top of this little tour here. It's almost, it's not far off 300, 360 degree view. On a nice day this would be stunning. What a stunning view this would be. All the way out to Plymouth, Plymouth Sound, out in the distance there. Somewhere, whatever I'm pointing to. <laughs> it's out there anyway. There we go, tent's all packed away. As usual, I've left no trace. I don't know why I need to keep saying it really, but I will. <laughs> Just to prove a point that us wild campers respect the land, respect Dartmoor, or anywhere, anywhere where we go. It's not us that leave a mess. There we go, there's nothing there. Tiny bit of flat grass, but that'll soon pop back up and you'll never know I was there. So now I'm just going to head down to the long pond or long pool. That's where I've parked in that little car park over there. So I'm just going to head straight down, straight down over. I did see a pretty impressive settlement, remains of a settlement on my way past yesterday so I'm gonna head for that and I will show you that when I get there. I'm stood pretty much smack bang in the, the centre of the, the remains of the settlement now. And you can see the the wall there. Like perimeter perimeter wall. It's almost it's almost like a like square shaped. Runs all the way down, all the way around. I'm guessing it's Bronze Age, but 
yeah I really I really don't know so that would be my guest most things seem to be Bronze Age from Dartmoor so I'm gonna go with Bronze Age all the I'm guessing um, remains of the huts hut circles Circles here in front of me. Right, well I'm nearly back at the car now. I've had a really good time. Good, <laughs> good camp. Good protest. Uh, it was a bit rushed. It was all a bit of a hurry. I was running a bit late. Right from the word go, as soon as I parked the car, I was running behind. And it was all a mad, mad dash. Hopefully I've got something to make a bit of a video with. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Hopefully there's something to make a video and it's enjoyable for some. So yeah, if you've enjoyed it, give us a big old fat thumb. <coughs> up, not down. Give us a big old fat thumb up. <coughs> and I will see you again on the next one. It won't be very long and I'll be out again. No doubt. Exploring another part of Dartmoor. Or maybe the coast path next time, I'm not sure. I know when I've done my poll, um, the majority chose Dartmoor, but there was some of you that wanted to see some coast path, and I'd like to see a bit more coast path, so maybe we'll do that next time, we'll see. So until then, I will catch you on the next one, see you later!